I just got my hands on a VX7R and um, I just want to go through uh, a Mars mod so I'm on 465.000 and I'm gonna key up and you're gonna see a transmit error so what I'm gonna do now is load um, read this radio into VX uh, VX7 Commander. Okay, so I'm using VX Commander version 1.3.4 uh, by Jim Mitchell. And first thing I want to do is I got my um, my cable, my RT Systems cable, plugged into my computer, and it is on port eight. And I just want to make sure I'm on port eight there. So I want to go transfer read from VX7 because I want to just bring a fresh new um, reset radio into it. So it says hold down Mani, the F key while holding the power and the radio should say clone which it does. Click OK on this box and then press the band key on the VX7. So I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to press the band key and now you can see uh, VX Commander is reading my VX7. Okay, so it brought in all my information. Um, this is the only frequency inside it. And the first thing I want to do is, and the only thing I'm going to do here, just to do some testing, is if you go to Advanced here and click on Mods, uh, Enable software mod is checked. So if you click the Mars Cap mod, it removes the checkbox from the 5 key. You see that? Or if I click the free band mod, it removes the checkbox from the 4. So you can manually go in and remove both checkboxes. Uh, it's set up for O2 here, which is wide receive and why transmit byte 14 is 0, 01. So what I want to do is I want to write this back to the radio uh, because my goal is that once the radio is software modded I could then use RT systems to program the radio and I want to see if the software mod uh, retains once I stop programming it with RT systems. So let me hit OK here and I'm going to go transfer right to VX7. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the monitor button and power the radio up. Radio's powered up and it says clone. Uh, it's saying to on the screen here to press the VM. My radio says clone wait and now I'm going to hit OK. Now VX Commander is writing back to my radio. And the only thing I really added to it was the software mod. OK, so I just um, finished writing back to the uh, VX7 from the VX7 Commander. Uh, and adding the software mod for out of band and we're back on 46500 I'm going to key to PTT real quick and there you can see we're transmitting on 465 so the mod worked okay so after writing the radio with VX commander and the out of band is transmitting with the software mod no hardware modifications I'm now in my RT system software for VX7 programmer and the first thing I'm going to do is go communications get data from radio so I want to read the radio into um, RT systems so again power the radio on while holding the monarchy. key uh, once we're here uh, we're going to hit uh, the OK button and this is telling me to hit the band key on the radio and that should start uploading the data into RT systems like it's doing. So what I want to do here is I just want to bring the radios 
information in, which really the only thing it has right now is the software mod. And I'm going to dump some memory channels into it, and I want to write it back to the radio, and I want to see if the software mod is still retained in there. So that red, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and grab some frequencies that I want to dump back into the, the VX7. And that's all I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now is set the radio back up uh, for programming, holding the monitor key and powering the radio up. And I'm going to go now to communications and send data to radio. And the radio says clone. It's telling me hit, to hit the VM key. It now says clone wait. And then I hit the OK button. And now um, RT system software is sending the data to the radio. So again, the goal here is will the radio remain with the software mod for for the Mars mod after reading the radio and writing it back with RT systems. Okay, so we just finished programming the VX7 with the RT system software. And what we're going to find out now is after programming the radio with the RT system software, if the software mod remained in the radio for uh, the Mars mod out of band. So we're on 465 flat. I'm going to key up. And there you see no transmit error. So once you do the software mod on the radio, it does maintain where you can then write it with RT systems, um, do whatever you want to do. All right, very good.